that's an ellipse, here is the equation for an ellipse, and this is a formula for the circumference of an ellipse. Some people are not pleased with such a formula because it's not what they call a closed form formula. They are hoping for a formula that is just given by elementary functions on the invariance a and b of the ellipse, and this is given instead by an integral, a rather perhaps complicated integral, but just, just in terms of a's and b's. But still, they're not pleased because it's an integral and not what they consider a closed form formula. They probably complain because when the ellipse is an actual circle, when a equals b equals r, then there is a very easy formula given by 2 pi r. And they think that, well, this is a closed form formula, right? Well, I claim that this is just as closed as the other one I showed for an ellipse. And the problem is that in this formula, pi is doing all the work and we are hiding the same integral in the number pi. And uh, we can play the same game with ellipses and define a similar constant so that we have a closed form formula. You see, when a equals b equals r, what happens with the formula for the circumference of an ellipse? It becomes this other formula, which is 2 times r times this thing in the parentheses, this integral, which the value is pi. You can use trigonometric substitution to prove that the value of that integral is exactly pi. So the circumference is the diameter times pi. And then we can do exactly the same thing for any ellipse. Take an arbitrary pair, a and b, and define the eccentricity of the ellipse to be a divided by b. Then this integral, it turns out that it only de depends on that value of the eccentricity, on the value of e, and I can call this pi sub e. And with this definition, the formula for the circumference of an ellipse becomes closed form formula, 2 times a times pi e. When e is 1, so pi sub 1, that's the usual pi. But for any other eccentricity, we get a new constant, uh, which is pi sub e, which makes this be a closed form formula, which either you believe that they are all closed form formulas, or you believe that pi is just as complicated as any other uh, pi for any other eccentricity. So as you can see, this formula is just as complicated as the formula for an ellipse, except that we've hidden all the difficult work in the number pi. And the formula for the circumference of an arbitrary ellipse is just as simple or as complicated as the formula of the circumference of the circle, and it depends on your point of view if you consider that pi is a simple constant or that pi is a very complicated constant, which in fact it is.